Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody just posted on Facebook that they uh, wasted some wood yesterday or wasted a lot of time because it cut out some lettering when they changed the text. Well, I can't, I can't get the text to start a hairline, so I don't know what's going on there. But so anyway, I created something, and this is it. And this is let's just say this is going to be a disc. It's you know six inches. I'm just drawing it real quick, and we're gonna we're gonna print this out. We're gonna engrave this. Well, if you ran this job right now as a combination where to engrave and cut, and all you see is that cut line, and you're gonna be very disappointed that you lost a seven inch piece of wood because the uh, when I drew this, let's get that out of the way. There are some hairlines, and the laser is going to cut it. Even though they're invisible to the naked eye, you can't see them no matter how close you draw, you, you zoom up. So, what, and when people, whoops, I deleted that. When people bring me something that they drew, and this has happened more than more than once to me. Uh, I'm going to engrave it, and it's going to go back. Or it's even stuff I drew. You know, I brought in some clip art, and I didn't double check it. So the first time I'm going to run this item, I'm going to run it like this. And this is the real reason for the video. And I do apologize that I do not have a laser hooked up to this this computer in this house, but. Select your item, go to print, and, and the screen's going to almost look the same. And all you need to do is hit that. You're going to print what's selected. And we'll hit print preview. And there's there's the only thing the laser is going to cut. It's not going to cut anything else. So if we don't select that, we'll just go current and print preview. It's going to do all that, and it's going to cut it out. So using this, you know, selection button. So what you're going to, want to do is, and I'm sorry I don't have a laser hooked up to show this better, but you're going to run a, a raster job first and let it engrave this and then come back and just select that and run a vector job and have it cut out just a circle. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.